It is a time when magic is more powerful than science, and only those who control the magic control destiny. They are the visionaries. For carrying out your mission with such distinction, I award you the Crystal of Detection. This has the foul scent of bribery. Yes, I agree. We must beware of the seduction of gold and jewels. Please allow me to present you with a gift before you refuse it. This crystal is not a jewel. It is the ultimate burglar alarm. All you need do is place it in New Valaric, and it will warn you of the approach of your enemy. Leoric, I am suspicious of this. Show a little faith, Ektar. I'm sure the crystal will function. Why would Merklin give us something that doesn't work? <laughs> See? I told you it would work. Mm. And our first chance to test the crystal. Azan, Ektar, learn his identity. <laughs> this is a violation of my rights. What rights? The right to wear this fake beard? <laughs> Bit shaming, doesn't it? And this fake nose? Who do we have here? Why, if it isn't the famous jewel thief, Rassius de Brog. <laughs> Who tipped you off? Just as I said, that crystal really works. And that worries me. Azan, Ektar, follow us. The crystal has warned us of something far more dangerous. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> New Valaric, you fool! Good. The spectral knights expect nothing. Wrong again, Darkstorm! Huh? The crystal of detection warned us of your approach. <laughs> Greetings, Darkstorm! Sindar, summon the power of destruction! By nature's hand, by craft, by art, but once was one, now fly at court! <laughs> Luckily, Sindar's beast only succeeded in knocking down a pair of derelict buildings. Not too loud. Darkstorm will send us a demolitions bill. Uh, well, we better be getting back. The Botanical Garden Committee meeting will be starting soon. Frankly, I'd rather be fighting the Darkling Lords. Wouldn't we all? And since the city is now fully protected by this crystal, we feel the security budget ought to be cut. And the money should be used to build the new botanical garden that many citizens want so badly. At the risk of seeming tactless, I humbly suggest this is the stupidest idea I ever heard! Yes! Leave it to the military to deny us funds! I move that we use these funds to build the botanical garden! Right! More flowers! Fewer swords! Roses, not lances! Make, Make gardens, gardens, not, not weapons! weapons. Oh, thank you, thank you. I think you've made your position very clear. I realize that you have the power to override me, but let me tell you of something that happened before the cataclysm. When New Valaric was a technological city, I was then a police detective. One of the city's banks installed what was believed to be the last word in security systems. Its maker said it was foolproof. Unfortunately, its maker also turned out to be a thief. He did quite a number on us, ripped off the bank and got clean away. The point of this story, ladies and gentlemen, is that you can never rely on a security system. You must have security people. So, what happened to this fellow? Since the crime was perfect, we had no clues. But I set a trap of my own.
The trap worked, and I got my man. The thief was none other than the Darkling Lord Recon. Shortly afterwards, he escaped from jail and thus began the most infamous crime wave in the history of Valaric. Ektar, your story is most amusing, but it is not persuasive. Once more, I move that the security budget be cut and the botanical garden be built. Yes! More flowers, less swords! No roses, no roses, no not lances! Lances! More daisies, less maces! All right, all right. We get the message. Uh, there's got to be some way to thwart that crystal. I'm sure your great genius shall find one. Uh, the crystal of beauty, crystal of charm, crystal of delight. Ah, here it is. The crystal of detection is a powerful way of detecting any enemy who approaches you. Its only fallibility is that it can easily be deceived by a cloak of concealment. Now, where do I find a cloak of concealment? Recon! Portrait! Put out a call! Immediately, fair Darkstorm! I know the answer shall come, Darkstorm. All we need do is be patient. Move the Dark Bishop to take the White Queen. <laughs> Sorry about this. Game grows tiresome. Ah! I know where a cloak of concealment can be found! Ah! What? Tell me, Bird, where is it? Ah, not so fast, Slick. The boss wants a big prize. Ah! Name it! Name it! Ah! Fifty T-Bones, one hundred juicy flanks, three hundred ribeyes, ah! and all the condiments you can muster! Ah! Am I to pay a meat ransom? All right. The steaks are over here and the condiments are over there. Uh, very good. Send me the bill. Ah, sorry. Cash and carry only. There'll be 3,000 gold pieces. 3,000 gold pieces? Flanks are hard to come by nowadays. Portrait, pay the man. Yes, I've... Uh, b b b well, I, I've saved up my allowance for two years, Darkstorm, but it's not half enough. Me, Cinder, broke. If your last check to me had cleared, I might be able to help. No, oh, oh, sorry, Darkstorm. I'm still waiting for some blackmail money to come in. Look, I'm a mercenary, not a banker. Pay the man or I take off. Uh, perhaps I can arrange a loan? Ah, this way! Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Darkstorm, how far are we from our rendezvous? How should I know? We're following that miserable bird. I hate this bug-infested jungle. I love it. The jungle is my home. If this is your home, Cinder, how come you don't know where we are? Well, there have been many big development projects since I left. Darkstorm, you idiot! Now we're being attacked! Stop the condiments! If we're to be eaten, we don't need to taste good! By what creeps, what crawls, by what does not, let all the bells receive that rot! Wither, you rotten weed! Stop! I have the cloak you desire in exchange for the beef! We're out of decay power, so play along with me. Then direct us to the cloak. We shall see whether I honor my half of the deal. You've rudely violated yours. Yes, well, you must forgive my friends. They are still bitter after years of defoliation and plant poisons. Oh, if you make me cry anymore, you'll fog up my helmet. 
Now where is the cloak of concealment? On the other side of those trees. You shall find a pile of fabrics we have uh, rescued from travelers. Here's the pile. Which one is it? The cloak of concealment? There it is. There. Is. I do not feel invisible. <laughs> you don't look invisible either. It isn't supposed to make you invisible. It is supposed to allow you to slip past that crystal the Spectral Knights have. Uh, give me an ace. Go fish. Uh, hello. Oh, what a creep he is. Yeah, but I love the jacket. And this is the famous crystal of detection, which gives our leaders immediate warning of any impending danger to the city of New Valaric. Over here is the table where many of the important decisions of our government are made. And I'll bet you folks thought it was for dinner parties, eh? <laughs> All right, and follow me. I tell you, Hector, when you see the bright red of the geraniums and sniff the delicate aroma of the honeysuckle, you will know you did the right thing. Wait a second. Yes, probably a participant in one of those violent sports. It's Recon, and I'll bet that's the crystal under his arm. It, uh, and he's seen me. Recon! I'm putting you away once and for all! Help! Help! A mad fox! He's getting away! All right, give me a check. Go, fish! What was that? As long as it was going that way, I don't care. Now give me all your tools. I've escaped you again! Sorry, Hector! Don't think we're going your way! <laughs> now, Lexor, what do you have to say of my rule? Not only have we neutralized New Valaric's security system, but the Spectral Knights will never be able to attack again, for we now have the Crystal of Detection. Thanks to your brilliant budget cuts and foolish reliance on... Temper your words, Cryotech. Temper your words. Well, suffice it to say that we are in a terrible spot. But fortunately, you might be able to get us out of the spot you've put us in. Here. It's a piece I managed to rip from the thief's jacket when I was pursuing him. There's a strange pollen on it. Can you identify it? Hmm, yes. Yes, I think this might well be pollen from the meatiest trompeti plant, an extremely rare flesh-eating jungle plant. There are less than a dozen specimens left, and they are all found in... Quiet, Mabel! What would your intentions be with regard to the Meteor's Champiti? We simply want to see how it might be connected to the jacket. What do you think? And before we tell you where they are, you must promise that no harm will come to these plants. Don't worry about the plants, worry about yourselves. Now tell us where they are, or... Quiet, Cryotech! Now... Tell us, where is the plant? Very well, Leoric. Are you sure you don't want the rest of us to come? No, it occurs to me that... Hector and I have reversed our roles. Now, I am the thief. And I am the detective. Ready yourself, Recon. Come when you may, Hector. Steaks I've eaten in a long time! <laughs> Too bad we don't have any more cloaks of concealment than I left. <laughs> <laughs> 
It is difficult to eat without a stem. If you don't have another cloak of concealment, where do I get one? I only had that one. Well, Hector, I can't tell you how pleased I am to be invited along on your mission. Arzan, I would be less than honest with you if I didn't tell you that I intend to use you as a lure for Darkstorm. Happy to be of some use. You'll be captured. Fine. Imprisoned. Maybe tortured. Tell me something I didn't know. Oh, to be young and foolish again. My traps have all been set. Assuming he can slip past the stone, he will attempt to climb the wall here, and I will station Sindar there to catch him. And when he slips past that idiot? Then the game begins. If I know how Recon thinks, he will position Sindar behind that wall. Therefore, I want you to arrange a diversion. I know what to do. Intercept the bird! Guards, prepare to shoot eyes on down! Ready, aim. You'll hit Cravex! Oh, too bad. Not so fast. <laughs> You're caught, big. How do I shut this thing up? What do you see in it? I, I see Mortred and Arzon. I guess we will hear it as long as the Spectral Knight is in your castle. Then let us flash him into the Great Abyss at the first opportunity. But don't you want to imprison, interrogate, and torture me first? You idiots! He's causing a diversion! Get Arzon up here now and search the castle for the rest of the Spectral Knights! Just try and get past me, Spectral Knights. <laughs> Hello, Lexor. Let's make a deal. I let you slip by me, and neither of us makes any trouble. But I like trouble. Yes, well, everyone to their own taste. <laughs> Well, drop him into the abyss! Uh, begging your pardon, Great Darkstorm, uh, we're having a small dispute over which lever drops into what. His Dunderhead says that that is the right one, but I'm certain that this is the one. Idiots! Anyone can find out which it is. Just pull it! <laughs> you shall suffer for me! <laughs> you were right. Fight to the death. <laughs> I see little point. In a strange way, I think we need each other. Yes, where would the detective be without the thief to catch? 
Or the rat without the trap to outsmart. It's like old times. So, who shall we say won the day? I stole the crystal from you, you stole it back. <laughs> I'd call it a draw. Oh, you always were the cleverest detective on Prismos. And you the cleverest thief. Till we match wits again. Or cross swords. Until, Until then. then. Your crystal is useless. Lab tests prove that even a material made of polyester can defeat it. It's worse than useless. It's a liability. Spectral Knights, please accept my apologies. Back when I created that crystal, it was the age of technology. I should have kept better track of textile advancements. I'll make it up to you. How would you like a magical pest repellent? No. no. Uh, frankly, I don't blame you. Then, how about a magical food refresher? Just wave it over spoiled food. No. no. Then, how can I make amends? Never mind. We'll let you know when we really need something. Servants, present the dinner. What is for dinner? Why, pea soup, uh, then turnip stew, followed by cabbage souffle. Where's the beef? It seems that somebody has driven up the market price, and we can't afford it. Oh, my God.